It's looking like the largest unregistered securities dealer or shitcoin casino is in a liquidity crisis. Some very sketchy activity going on. Binance is mirroring FTX in so many ways. The deja vu here is insane. Some are asking, is Binance US a fake exchange? It just might be. And Swan CEO Corey Clipston called his shot again like the great Bambino. Let's dive in. Essentially, what's going on is that any centralized company operating in the in the crypto space that has taken long positions on large piles of altcoins is essentially playing a confidence game because traders understand that, you know, while Bitcoin is potentially a, a new global money and has value that everyone sort of agrees on, everything else is speculative and probably has a fair market value of zero. And so it's very easy to get a lot of other people to agree with your thesis. If you start a rumor or you start shorting something, or there appears to be weakness on the balance sheet of a company like FTX. Let's get it started here. And we talked about this crypto giant Binance moved 400 million from US partner to firm managed by CZ himself. This sounds a lot like the insider movements from FTX to Alameda. And Mr. Smoke a lot, you may want to put down the peace pipe because judging from that profile picture, you're probably not going to make it. And go figure that none other than that asshole Jamie Dimon would be hanging out with the CEO of Binance CZ. It's like scam senior meeting scam junior right here. And you guys see these shitcoin ads all the time. Breaking news, surprise, we are insolvent. Thank you, Huddle Magoo, for being such a goddamn savage. We love you and all the work you do, crushing shitcoiners and getting the truth out there. I'd probably get my uh, Bitcoin off the exchanges if I were you. Man, talk about shitcoin casinos, the gift that just keeps on giving, am I right? Now here we go. CEO of Swan Bitcoin, Corey Clipston, the percentage of reserves held in Bitcoin and... <coughs> Meth. Bitfinex, 91%. Kraken, 76%. Coinbase, 63%. Binance, 15%. And like Corey said, tell us that story again about why Bitcoin needs Binance. Bitcoin doesn't f***ing need Binance. Or any shitcoin slinging unregistered security casino. They are irrelevant to Bitcoin. And counter to the Bitcoin thesis. Now let's see what happens. Maybe if uh, he does some charity work, he'll get away with it or donates to some people's campaigns. Good question here. If Bernie Madoff donated to soup kitchens, would he get a pass? Might be onto something here. And again, from Magoo, nails it again, Bitfinex. You don't want to get Bitfinexed, right? But uh, according to Magoo, he would send them to jail right away. Don't even pass go. Don't collect 200. Take your ass to the slammer. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure none of us have heard this before from a certain scam bankster fraud about, we're so transparent, you guys can look at everything. Check out our books and la la la. And then people actually look and there's nothing there. But an imaginary FTT token, which is a lot like Binance's BNB token fairy dust. But oh yeah, Rustin, you're just spreading FUD. Just FUD, right, CZ? Well, let's take a look. And this is from a senior fellow at Duke University. Quote, on one occasion, Binance only had $100 million in stored collateral to support $1.7 billion in Binance Peg USDC. Now, I'm no genius, but that math ain't adding up, guys. And perhaps this is why Binance has no outside auditor. It's difficult to reconcile a balance sheet with $1.7 billion on one side and $100 million on the other. Does this sound familiar? Does this sound like that story that was leaked by FTX just a bit ago about leaking their balance sheet and showing all those gaps and holes and things that just don't make sense? My God. God, is this Black Mirror? Twilight Zone? What the hell is going on out here? I've been through this. It's like, why do we have to keep doing this over and over? What is that Tom Cruise movie? God, it's like a loop. A loop that won't end. A simulation inside of a simulation. But oh wait, there's more. Binance's blockchain is pretend. Obviously, everyone in crypto knows this already. Posting this article for mainstream reporters so they can understand CZ's fraud. And again, Corey been, has been pointing this out for a long time. BNB 
FTT, there's no real difference. And CZ was drawing attention to FTX to get people off of him, but really he was pushing what they were doing onto FTX saying, look at what they're doing. That's bad. That's illegal. When all in all reality, they're doing the same shit. You can't make this stuff up. I mean, come on. And the trading, just like Alameda was CZ's own insider connections. I mean, it's just wild. Come get your free money. Yeah, I mean, you might as well have Patrick running these shitcoin casinos. And this one, this one. All right. Corey is hitting the nail on the head. Yet again, you gotta be a special kind of regarded to uh, see what Uncle Gary's been doing from Gemini, Genesis, Coinbase, BlockFi, Nexo. How dumb does CZ have to be to still be pimping these fraudulent schemes? Look at this, look at this. After all these crackdowns and shit. Binance US, staking, grow your crypto and earn up to 16% APY. Totally not a scam or anything. Here, send me your Bitcoin, I'll send you two. Somebody's brain is drowning. And again, like we were talking about, CZ, SBF. Inside, we are same, same. Same, same, but different, but still same. Their names are both letters, and they're running scams. Let's check this out. Corey, again, gosh. Like I said, he called his shot. He's been doing this over and over and over, saving tons of people from these shitcoin casinos and bringing them over to the Bitcoin-only way. But, quote, Binance had secret access to bank account belonging to its purportedly independent U.S. partner and transferred large sums of money from the account to a trading firm managed by Binance CEO CZ, just like Alameda and FTX. Let's have a look-see. Does this sound familiar, like what people at FTX were saying? Binance U.S.'s executives were concerned by the outflows because the transfers were taking place without their knowledge. According to messages reviewed by Reuters, the CEO of Binance U.S. at the time, Catherine Coley, wrote to a Binance finance executive in late 2020 asking for an explanation for the transfers, calling them unexpected and saying no one mentioned them. Oh wait, there's more! Where are those funds coming from? She wrote in one message in a response to Coley seen by Reuters. The Binance executive Susan Lee did not explain the transfers. Lee wrote that Merrick Pete was a quote, vendor that facilitated trading for Binance.us and also provided loans and capital injections to the American exchange. Coley, who left Binance US later in 2021, didn't respond to questions sent to her via legal representatives. Lee also didn't respond. Hmm. Hmm. I think our friend at Dirty Bubble got it. And if you're not following Dirty Bubble, get on it. First National Bank stops Visa transactions on Binance. Press releases Binance First National Banks. And as Bubble said, one by one, CZ gets cut off from the real financial system. Binance. Another one. More good stuff from that Dirty Bubble. Binance US admits, tell me this isn't sketchy, admits in their terms that the quote market makers on their exchange include related parties based in offshore jurisdictions and CZ admits he is a shareholder in a market making firm tied to Binance. It ain't that complicated folks. And listen to this. This is almost like the no liability from <coughs> fire. Oh God. You know, that shit isn't good, right? So here we go. Let's start right here. You further acknowledge agreeing except that one, such market makers may enter into any transaction with you as your counterpart. Party two, such market makers may also maintain positions in various digital assets as part of their market making activities, including positions in digital assets that are contrary to your positions. They're telling you they're trading against you. And three, under no circumstances shall any of the indemnified persons be responsible or liable for any direct or indirect losses, including loss of profits, business or opportunities, damage or costs suffered by you or any other person or entity as a result of the market making activities of the market makers. And with shit like that, you gotta ask, what the hell is going on? Is Binance a fake exchange? Billions, again, in customer funds transferred for directly from Binance US to offshore Binance Exchange. Is this just a ploy to trick regulators? Because it looks exactly like FTX and Alameda. Summary from Dirty Bubble. Binance US purports to an independent entity from the offshore Binance empire. Binance US claims to merely license the name and other elements from Binance, but otherwise to be a separate entity. This is important because Binance is banned from doing business in the US. However, previous reports have alleged that Binance US is little more than a front designed to distract regulators in the US from taking a closer look at the much larger offshore elements of Binance. Just like FTX, but FTX, of course, much smaller in scope, too. 
Binance. Recently, Binance US had to pause withdrawals of USDT after its exchange balance ran low. The USDT was replenished by a transfer of 10 million USDT from the main Binance exchange wallets. Dirty Bubble analyzed the intermediary wallet, discovering over 1.4 billion in transfers through this address. All funds flowed from Binance exchange addresses to Binance US. Supposed to be separate entities. Why are they commingling? We subsequently discovered a second address used to send funds from Binance U.S. to Binance. This address transferred over $1.7 billion from the U.S. regulated exchange to the offshore exchange, primarily in stablecoins. The data and timing of transfers and withdrawals from Binance U.S. demonstrate that customer funds from Binance U.S. are commingled with customer deposits on Binance. So this purportedly independent U.S. exchange is actually closely entangled with the offshore Binance, just like FTX Alameda and FTX U.S. We conclude by sharing information from Binance U.S. terms Terms of service which support this conclusion as well as some simple market analysis to suggest that Binance US actually conducts customer trades directly on Binance's exchange and trades against their customers. Our findings support previous allegations that Binance US was designed to perform a regulatory Tai Chi dance to avoid US regulators. It worked until now, but we wonder how much longer the ploy will work in light of increased regulatory attention on the exchange. Is Binance US a fake exchange? Go to the comments, tell us what you think, and tell us on Twitter. And this could explain why every senior, as we saw earlier, U.S. executive with a modicum of reputation leaves Binance within a few months of joining and then never, ever speaks on the subject again. Binance spreads scams and disinformation all over the world with their shitcoin evangelism for their shitcoin casino. Humanity will be much better off without Binance. And look at this, Corey, Corey did the math. Only $8 billion worth of Bitcoin on Binance. That's 2% of Bitcoin supply and less than one third of daily volume. So again, Bitcoin doesn't need Binance. Well, it looks like it's just a matter of time until CZ and Binance meet their maker. We said it yesterday, Bitcoin is built different. Check out this video for more on that from Michael Saylor and Gary Gensler. Take self-custody of your Bitcoin. We'll post some wallets and hardware wallets down below that are solid options. Get your Bitcoin off of these scammy exchanges and join the peaceful revolution, the self-custody revolution, and build your own future. Don't shitcoin. Pretty sure that's how people get AIDS. Until next time. Peace.